Uh, the lens cap's on. Do I at least take the lens cap off on that talk? Actually, he looks better with the lens cap on. Uh, Category X has the hottest uh, wives and girlfriends of any band. Hey, it's pretty good. <laughs> I liked it. Good band. Awesome. Rock on. Kick ass. Oh my god, you guys, listen. The last song was the best one of the night. I don't know what to say though, so it'll probably be the part of this video that you edit out. What are you doing, taking a broadcast or something or what? There's not much more for that. Category X apparently almost came to be before I was ever part of this band. Category X was originally started five years ago when we were trying to throw together a Journey's tribute band and we just had so much problem finding a bass player and a keyboard player that were reliable. So that sort of fell through. The idea of a Journey tribute band kind of turned me off. It even turned me off more to have to drive to Watertown to rehearse. Through the grave, five me and Ed have known each other for eons, but we really never got together. And uh, we just started emailing back and forth, and he said he knew a keyboard player. Mark uh, Chartre. I've been with Category X for about three and a half years since we started. Uh, he brought a lot more to the table than just keyboards. I play a lot of things. I've been playing keyboards, uh, some rhythm guitar some backup vocals, and play saxophone, and then play a little flute. I heard he can fart the Star Spangled Banner, but uh, I, I don't know that to be true. Rob, Robert Wright. Nobody can touch him. Nobody can touch him. Um, I mean, we've got our poppy bands in town, you know, that you see at every festival doing the same old stuff. but. Nobody, nobody can touch my lead singer. Music, music is where it's at. Um, I think it keeps you young. Here I am, uh, moving on 40, and uh, I don't look a bit like a deal with 33. I got this drummer, this little Puerto Rican dude named Andy. You know, he's about this tall. And he looks like Twiddle Dee or Twiddle Dumb. I'm still trying to figure that one out. But he is the best drummer that I've ever played bass for in my life, ever. And uh, he's doing all right. <laughs> it's gotta be one of the best drummers I've played with. Brian Mimmel, the lead guitarist, uh, he's a genius on guitar. Well, he's a genius in a lot of ways, but his, his on guitar, his fingers are on fire, and he just rocks. I'm not so not worthy to be in this band, but somehow or another, I'm in it. <laughs> I've been in it, and no one's run me off yet. As, as, as it evolved, we started going over to uh, more progressive Pink Floyd, Queen's Rock. Pink Floyd is just for potheads. <laughs> uh, Queen. Um, just we do stuff that no other bands do. You know, if you ever come to see one of our shows, you'll never hear like you know Mustang Sally, funky music, White Boy, uh, Come On Eileen, or you know. But there's so many bands, well, they all play them. So go see those guys. But, you know, if you want to hear something that no other bands around here will, will play for you, even if they could, well, I think if they could, they would. Well, yeah, I'm sure they would if they could.
first gig was January 10th, 2006. Uh, first show, the first show we did officially as a band was in Janesville at a bar called the, well it was originally called the Back of the Yards, now it's called the Back Bar. I think the genre we've been trying to shoot for is basically 70s, 80s classic rock. Um, I don't know if it suits every person so much, but uh, you know, I think there's a crowd for it yet in this day and age. Uh, I mean, we are moving into 2010, so uh, who knows how the music scene is going to go from there. Can, can you see me with uh, disco clothes on and uh, singing John Travolta? I can't even say it anymore. <laughs> I used to sing John Travolta. Stay alive! <laughs> Experience with Category X had to be a couple years ago was uh, at I would say Crandon. Crandon. The best gig we did was at uh, Crandon, Wisconsin for the Bush Series Truck Race Finals. Uh, if I remember right, I think there was about uh, between five and seven thousand people there. Twelve thousand people was great. The whole aura of it, it was just like we were rock stars. It was just good crowd participation, a lot of nice sights. The best times they'll come after hours when we go to the, the restaurants or... Yeah, and we get some love. I mean, we get hotel rooms, get really grunt food. We get top shelf drinks if we want them, but the, the thing is, we don't drink. Free drinks, free food. Just the uh, uh, meeting a lot of the great people, you know, that are out there. It's always fun. We opened for, uh, <clears throat> was that Eddie Money? Eddie Little Money. River Band, Joan Jett. Survivor, that's right, Survivor with, uh, who else was there? Uh, a couple years back we didn't directly open for them, but we were sort of opening like for Sticks, Outlaws, Fog Hat. Weird Al Yankel. Weird Al. Who is the leader of Category X, huh? Uh, I don't think there is any one set leader in this band. We all make pretty much most of the decisions. We're all leaders. If you want to ask, someone was to ask you who's the musical director of the band, that would be Brian Memel. Ed is like, he's like the president. He's the... And, and uh, he, he's kind of like the band director, if you know what I mean. I'm just more music. Best known as Jacques Lecoq Grande. If you're the guy who's paying the check at the end of the night, you, you, our, the leader of our band is a guy named Mikey. He's the one out there hobnobbing, politicking. He, now you ask anyone who's in the crowd, go to Utsa Utsa, they're going to tell you the leader of our band is Rob Wright. You want to say, uh, you know, show business being two words, on the business side, they'll tell you I'm the leader. When I plan to quit playing is probably when my wheelchair locks up. Or, and I, the harness that I have my guitar on, it'll be like, it's gonna be custom made because I already have it in planning. Where I'll have my guitar on the side and I'll be able just to just swing it around. And once that holster breaks, or if the wheels fall off my wheelchair, that'll probably be the last time I play. I'm not planning to quit. Unless I die. Um, it's going to go two ways. Either I'm going to quit, or I'll be like in some VFW hall playing polka music, you know, when I'm 80. <laughs> <laughs>